It's not a fun massage. It's not gua sha time. It's not your jade roller time. This is like a, oh, shit, I got a massage. What's up everyone, Dr. Sagar Patel here to talk to you about how to massage after chin liposuction surgery. So for the most part, this is a surgery where we first numb your neck and then I suck out the fat to get you snatched from the middle to the sides. Now, as you go through recovery, one of the difference between a good result and a great result is how much that skin snatches in. Now, the first thing is having a surgeon who knows what they're doing. When you can go in the exact same plane throughout, that creates a way of what I call dry lipo to separate the skin from the fat to allow it to suck in. Now, whenever you do anything, whether it's Kybella or liposuction, or you do smart lipo, laser lipo, you're going to create scar. What we want is we want to be able to utilize the scar to get you better results. Now, as you go through the healing process, you're going to learn a couple things. The first day, you're going to take your head wrap and hopefully you're blown away by your results because after that, you're going to get a little bit swollen. Now, first thing before I begin telling you about this, every surgeon has different rules and explanations and you should talk to your surgeon about what he or she recommends. This is my advice to my patients. So if you ain't my patient, go talk to your surgeon, but hopefully this information helps everyone out there. Now, when it comes down to it, I usually ask you to wait till about the fifth to seventh day, depending on your personal surgery, to begin the massage. Now, how do you do the massage? At, the, at first, the massage is really about getting the swelling to go down. You're not gonna feel much scar because that scar is floating and still developing and it's floating in the swelling. So what I want you to do is use fingers on the side and just rub down towards the bottom of your neck. In a lot of places, you'll find that this is called a lymphatic massage. It's gonna be tender. And the thing I tell my patients is rule number one, it should hurt. It's not a fun massage. It's not gua sha time. It's not your jade roller time. This is like a, oh shoot, I got a massage. Now, as you're gonna roll these towards the ground to go with gravity where your thoracic duct at the bottom over here is gonna absorb the lymph. This will help the swelling get better. I usually have a rule to do it three times a day for five to 15 minutes, as much as you can tolerate. Usually by now, you don't need to ice. Using a warm compress can help loosen up your blood vessels to get things flowing a little bit more. So if you can use a warm, damp towel for about five minutes beforehand, remember to make sure it's not too hot because you're still a little bit numb. Um, make sure that that will get things going and then do your massage after you've let it sit on there. Once again, on the sides, you're gonna massage below the jawline towards the center. In, in the front, you're gonna start at the chin and rotate down. Now, once the swelling has resided, about 10 to 15 days after surgery, you're gonna now start doing some pinching. You're gonna start feeling what I call the lipo lumpies. The place that always has it is right where your central incision is and it's gonna feel hard. If you have a large, large heart area, you need to talk to your surgeon. But for all the pebbles and rocks you feel, we're gonna start a pinch type massage. So now you'll be able to feel it because your swelling's gone. And what we want you to do is once again on the side, pinch and roll with your fingers. In the middle, you can use your tongue to push everything down. And as you push that down, it's called mewing for all you people out there. You're going to then use your thumb once again and use a finger to kind of really mash on those until they get softer. They will get softer. Rule number two of massage, keep going. The average person, it's pretty much gone by six weeks, but I want you to go until this part of your neck feels like this part of your neck or a baby's butt. Make it nice and soft and you shouldn't stop at any point until it is nice and soft. Now, if you do all this, you'll continue noticing changes from the six week mark to the three month mark. And most importantly, that skin will get nice and snatched. If you have any questions or wanna schedule a consultation for your own surgery, feel free to reach out to our office. Don't forget to like and subscribe and love getting you guys the information.